Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Frankly FM84 and today you are joining me for another episode of De Rotten Bullen where we are currently out in Germany managing Red Bull Leipzig. As you can see the camera issues are still not sorted so unfortunately this is going to be just another audio episode but hopefully I'm going to be rectifying that very very soon and I'll be back in the videos. So in the last episode you saw us demolish Augsburg 6-0 and the episode before that we demolished Barcelona 6-0 so in today's episode we are back we are in the Champions League we are going to the Camp Nou and we are going to be playing against Barcelona before I show you how that goes and how we've been going since the last episode please don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button to help the channel out if you've already done all of that let's have a look at what's been going on so in the last couple of games, after we beat Augsburg 6-0, we went on and beat Hoffenheim 2-0. Own goal from Posh and Emil Forsberg with the penalty. And then we battered Cologne, Cologne 7-1. Lamptey, Olmo and Tyler Adams all scoring inside the first 10 minutes. Brenner after 11. Savio and Ackman getting the other goals as we demolished and ran Raya at the Red Bull Arena. And that brings us nicely to today's game, which is going to be Barcelona in Champions League Group H. I think if we win this game, we will confirm ourselves as group winners. And that's always a strong position. So let's have a little look at the team lineup that is going to be facing Barcelona. So with a few suspensions, we are going to make a few changes. We are going to go with Galaxi in goal, Gvardiol, Kabak, Canate and Nets making up the back four now. Nets showing his... Uh, flexibility by playing left back and right back across the past couple of games we've got Forsberg wide left Sobolite and Savio across the middle and then we've got Danny Almo Ali and Brenner up front as usual so let's hope for a repeat performance of the last time out against Barcelona as we go to Camp Nou okay so up and running against Barcelona and the game is a lot quieter than it was last time. I do have a theory about these Champions League games. I do think that we tend to play better in the home leg than we do in the away legs. And it's Barcelona who had the first chance. And Antoine Griezmann scores the first goal of the game after 15 minutes. Yeah, I think there's something hard-coded into all of the saves that I've had so far. Champions League games, whether it be the European Champions League, the ACL or any of the others. It seems like you fly through your home legs and then struggle in the away legs. And that seems to be the case already here. Although we've got an attack going and Danny Olmo is in behind. And Olmo has hit it straight at the goalkeeper. Which is a little bit disappointing because I was hoping he was going to prove me wrong. And I was hoping that he was going to banish what I was just about to say about the home and away legs being a bit, a bit floppy. But... As you can see, we are in at half time. We've not played particularly well in that first half, but then again, neither of Barcelona really. I suppose it's been an even game and they took the one real chance that's come their way. So we're going to go out in the second half, play the same players to begin with. Got my eye on Savio and Sobolai, as both of them are looking a little bit tired. So around the hour mark, I think we will change those. And we have scored from a corner. And it's going to be disallowed, I think. Players are running away. And a goal disallowed. So Forsberg with the cross gets flicked on by Canate. That's a little bit harsh. Ali, who's only... Well, the graphic only looks like he's about three foot in height. Gets the goal with the header and it gets chalked out. And then we have another chance straight after that. As Brenner intercepts the ball and goes straight for goal. Doesn't do anything with it though. Which is disappointing. So the players we were looking at were Savio to come off and Sobolai for Esposito. So let's get some fresh legs in and see if we can't get this one goal back. Because we've been in some fantastic form. So I, th I think we're capable of getting back into the game and possibly going on and winning it. But we will need to be scoring soon. As Kabak plays the ball to Esposito. Ball over the top and there's Ali again. Is the referee going to disallow this one? No, he isn't. That is a brilliant goal. Esposito 
with a brilliant assist here. So he turns, plays it to Onkunku, and as soon as he gets it back, he smashes it forward, and Ali's one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. He side-foots it into the net. And that's a brilliant finish there by Ali Akman. He's doing it at the highest level now as well. I've got to admit, when, he, when I first bought him, I did think this kid might be a little bit lightweight, and he's in again. Probably should have given us the lead there. But I will be the first one to say that I did think he might be a little bit lightweight. He might not be the finished article yet. And we are certainly looking to have moulded him into a diamond. He is just immense in terms of his goal scoring record. I think we need to have a look at that at some point. Um, who was the change that I needed to make here? So I am going to bring on... Dahl in place of Forsberg. I'll get another pair of fresh legs out on the wings. As we are into four minutes of added on time. And that game has pretty much flown by. It's not too bad. It's a result that I would have took at the start. As I said, I think that we basically do better at home than we do on the road. Although looking at the stats, Barcelona pretty much had all of the first half. We have had all of the second half. And a 1-1 draw is probably around the fair result. So... That's another Champions League game done. We are going to push forwards into the Bundesliga and continue to try and plug that gap to Dortmund. But before we wrap this one up, please don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button to help the channel out. If you've done that, I'm going to wrap this episode up by saying a big thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.